What's going on YouTube? Welcome once again to Raw Boxing TV. This is Ranger. Let's go ahead and talk about this fight uh, uh, that, that we experienced. Uh, I watched it online. I couldn't actually watch it live. Uh, before we get to, um, to the video, uh, one of my subscribers asked me what kind of camera uh, was I using. So I decided that instead of telling you, I'll just uh, go ahead and show you real quick. I'm going to uh, put this video in, an, in picture. I am using this Canon camera here, um, this HD microphone. I usually I'm putting this uh, filters on the lens. It's an anti-glare UV protection uh, filter, not necessarily just for UV protection, but... Uh, it's an anti-glare, uh, reduces lighting in some cases. Uh, it's a Canon camera. And in some instances, depending on where I'm sitting, um, I use this lens right here. It's one of the luxury lenses from Canon. Um, it has automatic focus. Uh, you can set it up to 1.2 meters to infinity or 3 meters to infinity. It's really a very awesome sports photography. It's a, it's a 70 by 200 millimeter lens. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so there you go. Um, anyways, if any of you were surprised of last night's outcome of the fight, I wasn't. And uh, if you watched my prediction video, then you shouldn't have been surprised because I warned you that something like this was going to happen. However, I gave Huoma just a little more credit. Uh, I kind of wanted to give him just a little more credit than, than what was being given to him out there because, uh, you know, you can't ever count a fighter with a lot of power out. But in my prediction, I told you that, you know, if I was Mikey Garcia, and I wanted to increase name. The last thing I want to do is pick a fight with a man who just got knocked out twice by a man who I just beat. It didn't really make sense unless you're a blind, fanatical, or patriotic fan that just looks at the guy and says, What a great job! Great victory! When in fact, it was something that. I like to say 99% of the real boxing fans saw it coming, you know, a knockout victory. Uh, but did you see last night's fight? I mean, from the minute Mikey started pumping the jab, it wasn't a fast jab, but he was still landing it. It was like as, as if Juan Manuel Lopez was blindfolded in there and he just saw the punches coming when he felt them. I don't think Mikey Garcia really missed that much shots last night because it seems like every time, he, every time he extended his hands, he landed. There was no head movement. There was no reaction before the punch, just the reaction after the punch. It was as if Juan Manuel Lopez was in there for the first time in his life. As if they just took a guy from the street, put a, bunch of glo uh, put a set of gloves in him, gave him a bunch of money, and threw him inside those ropes. That's what Juan Manuel Lopez was last night. I don't even think he landed on Mikey more than 20 or 40 times in that whole fight. It, I'm honestly speaking, I don't think so. Who lost more last night would be a great question though. Because Juan Manuel Lopez comes in with the excuse of, I mean, I'm personally not giving this excuse, okay? Mikey Garcia didn't make weight. He weighed it two pounds and some change over Juan Manuel Lopez because Juan Manuel Lopez came in weighing 125 and some change. I'm not going to just sit on the excuse of, oh, well, he got knocked out because Garcia weighed more than he did. Uh, so, uh, no, if you were planning on using that, don't do it. Don't look ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, who lost more last night? Mikey lost the belt without even losing a fight. Mikey lost $150,000.
to Juan Manuel Lopez. Mikey didn't really, I mean, you guys criticize other fighters, oh, he was fighting bums. But excuse me just a second, wasn't a bum the one that was in there last night against Mikey Garcia? Because that was a bum right there. I can guarantee you for a fact that I can take Dante's Boxing Nation's son and put him in the ring with Juanma and he would have beaten Juanma last night. As simple as that. I just want to throw that out there. Mikey Garcia still made the same mistakes except Juanma couldn't capitalize on it because Juanma is no longer Juanma. His days in the protection programs are over. Uh, Mike is still pulling his chin up, dropping his right hand while launching with the jab. Mikey had a guy in front of him that just couldn't capitalize on that. But anyways, I like to see Mikey move up to 130 and maybe we can get him some fights at 130 since he's having so much trouble at 126 or I'm not you know he's saying that he's not having trouble but I'm just speculating I might be wrong but they didn't even bother to fight to lose the weight they just kind of rather take the the six figure cut um, I'm not gonna even ask you what your thoughts are on that fight because <laughs> it wasn't a fight that was a sparring section for Mikey Garcia that was a training section matter of fact Mikey Garcia can fight tonight Tonight. He could fight tonight or maybe Monday night and he's in shape because that wasn't a fight. That was a training section. Simple as that. Drop your comments. And uh, if you do videos and you're interested in knowing everything I'm using here for the quality of your videos, I use, you know, I, I use this camera for my photography and, and uh, for you guys, obviously, for YouTube. But this is a great setup here. Um, if you're interested, let me know, and I'll tell you everything I got on here. What's the best way to purchase it on the cheaper? Because there's really about two grand tied up with just the camera uh, and the accessories and stuff like that. So let me know. Drop your comment. Subscribe. I'm out.